All right, golf club deal number one of the day. We got a TaylorMade M1 Hybrid. It was listed for 150. It had been there. the Jackie Robinson Ballpark home of the Daytona Tortugas. Also, the first stadium that Jackie Robinson. All right, folks, welcome back. Today should be a fun one. We're starting things off here at the corner of Turn One Drive and International Speedway Boulevard. It is race week here in Daytona. We're gonna do a little tour of Daytona Beach during uh, race week. Go to uh, some of our favorite local places. Yeah. Should be a fun one. We're gonna have a fun day. Got some bad news about my knee yesterday from the doctor, so we're gonna have a fun one today. There's a bunch of stuff set up for the, uh, uh, the race, obviously. There's a bunch of cool stores around here and some local eats. We're gonna show you everything. We'll go to a couple of pawn shops, maybe find some golf clubs, yeah. or uh, there's a Dick Sporting Goods too. We might find some golf clubs yeah. there. Isn't it like this week last year that we found that Scotty Cameron at Dick's? Oh yeah, because the president came in on the, uh, yeah, yeah, Air Force Two or whatever that thing is called. So yeah, exactly a year ago, <laughs> we found that fake Scotty Cameron uh, Circle T yeah. at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. So whatever, we'll, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll find maybe, some real clubs. Yeah, maybe we'll find some uh, real clubs, but it should be a fun one. And uh, welcome to our hometown. That couldn't have worked out better. No. <laughs> welcome to Daytona Beach. At least you got one of our favorite spots. Yeah. If you're a sports fan, you'll definitely like it. All right, starting things off with one of our favorite places in Daytona, the Jackie Robinson Ballpark, home of the Daytona Tortugas. Also, the first stadium that Jackie Robinson played a professional baseball game in. So that's why it's named after him. A pretty cool uh, little place. Yeah, they always have really interesting promotions too, like the Bob Ross night and like Belly Busters, all you can eat food. Yeah, and they have like a Thirsty Thursday, $2 drink specials and everything. But we are in downtown Daytona. Yeah. Can't really tell if there's no real high rises or anything. But uh, over there is the Intracoastal, and on the other side is the world's most famous beach. There you go. <laughs> Let's go check it out. All right, there you go, the world's most famous beach. Not really sure how accurate that statement is, but they do have a sign, so I guess they're official, so. It's official. Yeah. I don't know if it's the world, I think it is the world's most famous beach, but it's certainly not. The prettiest? The prettiest <laughs> beaches. But... The appeal is definitely that you can drive on it, so yeah. that's pretty cool. The, uh, actually, the races started in Ormond Beach up there. Oh, yeah. They would take all, like Henry Ford would bring down all the cars and test drive them there before they would go to like the Bonneville Salt Flats to yeah. do all the world record things. They would bring them down there. Yeah, Ormond cool. Beach, also the home of the Rockefellers. Oh, There's, I forgot about yeah, that, yeah. their uh, winter home. Yep, and then uh, to the south is the shark bite capital of the U.S. Yeah. Or the world. I don't know. I think it's the world. <laughs> they have uh, more shark bites in New Smyrna Beach than the rest of the country combined in yeah. one year. It's pretty crazy. But yeah. I guess we should actually show you what we're walking towards the beach. Yep. Super hard, super firm. Which is good because obviously you can drive on it. So. And I can walk on it today. Yes, exactly. That's the appeal for driving. If you're uh, planning a vacation to Florida and your like main objective is the beach, I would not recommend Daytona. I'd go yeah. more north towards like Jacksonville, St. Augustine. Augustine. Yeah, Yeah, it's more like dunes and soft sand and everything, but here's the beach. There you go, panorama. Yeah, there's like a uh, pier over there. They've got a uh, Joe's can... Crab Shack yeah, or something. Yeah, Joe's Crab Shack at the end of the pier. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Pretty cool, on to the next spot. All right, we've made our way across the bridge. We find ourselves at the corner of Bay Street and Beach Street. Yep. So uh, we're gonna get our first little uh, food Snacking of the day, a local taco shop. That's pretty dang good. All right, we have secured the food. I got a spicy ceviche tostada, and yep. Ashley got a barbacoa taco. Nice pulled beef. Pulled beef. All right, let's taste a little filling. It's like a, we got it to go, so they basically it's like a buildable thing. Yeah. I got the tostada down here with already some stuff on there. It's a pretty clever idea, so it doesn't get yeah, soggy. It doesn't get soggy. Wow, the beef is really good. That's pretty dang good for four dollars. <laughs> try try that. You want to try the filling? Yeah, I've had one of these uh, probably about a million times, but it's always good. <laughs> very, very good. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. All right, we're gonna chow down on this and I'll meet you at the next spot. Wherever it is. Wherever it is. <laughs> All right, first pawn store of the day. If you guys are new to the channel, this is what we normally do. We go to like garage sales, pawn stores, and flea markets and find cheap golf clubs. If you clicked on this video, Probably confused. You, you found a special edition, <laughs> but uh, let's see what they got in here. We got a full set of these Tommy Armor uh, 845s for $40. Got it. I think it's the Odyssey Dual Force putter right there. Team Daiwa. Team putter. Daiwa. Kind of looks like a uh, white hot number five with yeah. the uh, Dual Force insert. Let's see what else they got in here. Oh, I think this is an M1 hybrid for $150. This place like marks their stuff down based on the dates. And this thing has been here two, two, twenty. It's been here over a year. I don't know how much that is gonna be. It's like uh, zip tied to that thing. We'll ask them how much it is, but 
Huh. Yeah, that could be a good deal depending on uh, if they're willing to uh, bargain. We got some uh, Callaway knockoffs over here and Thanks. some uh, saltwater fishing stuff. Yep. We'll uh, see if we can negotiate this uh, M1 rescue down. All right, golf club deal number one of the day. We got a TaylorMade M1 hybrid. It was listed for 150. It'd been there a while, and yep. Ashley masterfully negotiated it down to 42. 42 out the door. Let's. Uh, does it have our credit card? Show the amount. 42, yeah, 42. See? There we go. We weren't lying. All right, we made our way to One Day Tona, which is a shopping center right across the street from the International Speedway. And I don't know if you can hear them, but they're actually testing right now. But they've got quite a few cool shops we're going to check out and a Ben and Jerry. So you know, we got to make a stop there. The Vast Pro Shops is certainly bumping. They got a Shoot Like a Girl stand, Toyota, got a race simulator, cool. got a bunch of different stuff yeah. out here. Let's go check on the fishes. Yes. Yeah. Most important thing about Bass Pro Shops. Yep. Ashley and Martin Truex Jr. Welcome, race fans. Pretty cool. They got a bunch of uh, Dale Earnhardt uh, photos. Mm -hmm. Where are they at? There we go. There it is. Yeah. Dale Earnhardt with a uh, four or five pound largemouth bass. Looks like he was using a spinner bait. All right. This is what we came here for. Their fish tank. Check out all of them. Gigantic bass. Those things are huge and they're all caught locally all of the fish that you see here they stock them with uh, local species yeah so, all the bass pro shops do it's yeah really cool. so it's pretty cool you go like tennessee they got like spotted bass they got muskies and stuff but here largemouth bass chain pickerel blue catfish black crappie yep bunch of cool different things yeah. those things gigantic yeah redfish wonder how he lives in here Seems to be doing fine. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be doing okay. Might be a little bit of salt in there. But uh, yeah, there's Bass Pro Shops for you. Yep. We'll meet you at Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> All right, Ben and Jerry's in the books. Well, not yet. We haven't <laughs> eaten it yet, but got the uh, cookie dough pops. With Reese's for you with and Reese's. white chocolate Oreo for me. Yeah, they're like a dollar each. It's crazy. Yeah. Good deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's only no one here. Yeah. Maybe one of ten people in this entire place. Not complaining. These are delicious though. They are really I'll meet good. you in the next spot. <laughs> Yours good? Very, very good. All right, last stop of the day, Dick's Sporting Goods. Still directly across the street from the International Speedway. See what they've got for us. We got an M2 over here for 190. Got a great big Bertha Epic Star for 270. Got a bunch of putters over there, and I think I see the Mioras over there still, so they still have those. We got an R15, some Callaway Jaws wedges. Oh, we got a Betonardi. How much we got? 320 or $392 on the Betonardi, and we've got a uh, Squareback. What is this? How much is this guy? 220 that's actually a pretty good deal on a uh, Scotty Cameron yeah. Squareback. It's one of my favorite models. My favorite model is the uh, Fastback 1.5. Those things are absolutely sick one of the uh, top 10 clubs that i wish or i regret selling we were to do a video and that was the number one <laughs> all right let's see if they've got any uh, good deals on the irons of the putters too all right the mioras are still here the kbs tours these things have been here for over a year they've got a ton of wear to them but 337 dollars i don't know a lot of people wanted us to buy these last time we were in here still not sure on it got kbs tour chefs Pretty good deal, but I don't know. There's really no uh, grooves left on there. Exactly. Be a cool uh, restore project. Maybe we'll do that one day. Let us know if you guys want us to do a restore project. Got a bunch of uh, Ping G410s for the new 425 is coming out. Ping G400s, six through wedge, only $380. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. All right. I don't really see any put oh, the used putters are over there. All right, this next thing gets a little complicated. I was staring at the Scotty Camerons and I saw the Scotty Cameron T22 putter and there was an employee right next to me. So I just asked him if I could try it. Wasn't thinking about the camera or anything. Ashley quickly turned on the camera and we got this uh, strange angle of my disproportionate body. But uh, look at that putter down there. The Scotty Cameron T22 TEI3. The guy was bringing us over there. I thought he was going to take off the security tag or something, but he just ended up handing us a golf ball. And then uh, this guy... I was super nervous. The guy was watching us the entire time because it was an $825 putter, but the sound picks up here. So uh, sorry for that weird voiceover and the weird video in general, but check out that putter. So nice. Two for two. <laughs> two for two. Couldn't do that to you. 
put some money on the line. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Trillium. Oh, trillium. Sorry. Gotta know my metals better. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a TEI3. Uh, oh, gotcha. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, Tiger used, uh, this is like a special edition of it. Tiger used it in 1997 to win the uh, Masters. Get nice. a uh, Newport 2. Pretty sweet. His was stamped on the bottom, and then they realized how many people were looking at it, so they put the stamp up here afterwards. <laughs> Didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that was one of our more awkward encounters. <laughs> I saw this putter over here and I like, it was just weird. So I just went to ask if I could uh, test it out. It is a Scotty Cameron T22 Fastback 1.5. We were just talking about that. And this is like the rarest model of it. Came out last year as a special edition. I don't know how much you heard what we were saying, but $825. These yeah. things are like, you see them on eBay listed for like 1200, 1500, something like that. They only end up selling for like 900, but I don't know. We'll have to use uh, Ashley's uh, specific, or, uh, specialized uh, negotiating skill to get that into our price yeah, range. Yeah, and then you're stuck with my footage of filming that. So <laughs> yeah, but if, uh, <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty sweet too, the square back. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's huge, 220. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad price at all. Mm-hmm. That was weird. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to use uh, Ashley's uh, special I'm negotiating sorry. skills. So we, what do you think a light goal is? My birthday is coming up. It's a birthday, but I don't know if you're getting yeah. that. <laughs> so, 825 likes and we'll get it? <laughs> no. 8,250? <laughs> I'm closer. <laughs> Alright folks, that is going to do it for us. A fun day. Hopefully you enjoyed our little tour of uh, Daytona Beach. Yeah. Our hometown. But, uh, pretty fun day. We found that uh, TaylorMade M1 got some good food. The uh, Scotty Cameron T22. That you made three putts with. Three putts in a row. One of a, uh, we have a buddy that works there. Maybe we'll go in and uh, try it out a little bit more. <laughs> the guy there said they could do 10% off on it, but he wasn't sure if it came with the head cover. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It didn't have the original grip, and if it doesn't have the head cover, it's probably not worth it. But yeah. Your birthday's coming up, but I don't know if you're getting... I'm not worth it. That's what she's trying to say. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully we get back into uh, golf here. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of Ashley and my dad playing golf because uh, my knee, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. Four to six weeks, no golf for me, but uh, hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and, and we'll see, you next time. see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.